Hello guys and welcome back to the channel or if you're new here welcome to the channel. I'm Taylor and this is Buddha and today we are whoa whoa today we are cleaning out Buddha's drawers. They're out of control as you can see I'm surrounded by toys. Um, all of these baskets are full of Buddha's stuff from toys to treats to like medical stuff so we're gonna go through it all. Um, I love watching people clean on YouTube. If that's not your thing, that's okay. We have other videos. But I am gonna start up a series of like decluttering as well as um, doing some like eco-friendly and just like more environmentally friendly um, like home decor, home organization, all of that. So. If you are interested in things like that, hit the subscribe button, um, turn on your notification bell, and follow us on all of our other not or our other social medias. That's the word I was looking for. Our other social medias. Um, they'll all be linked below. And watch to the end because we do have a huge giveaway for you guys. So stay tuned for that. Okay, I changed the angle of the camera and I don't think it helps. Let me see if I can go back a little bit farther. Maybe. Oh yeah, you can see him a little bit now. Oh yeah. Hey yeah. Sit down. Okay. Alright guys, so... I just have been emptying out this basket so we can get started. Lots of different toys in here. Yeah, this might be a long one, guys. Grab a snack. Grab, I don't know, anything, your dog, your BFF, and get ready. I might split this video in half between treats and toys because it might take forever, but... This is his downstairs basket. Um, he did chew off the other handle. <laughs> but uh, anything that goes downstairs, I'm gonna throw in there. And then we're gonna designate this to be his toy box for upstairs because he's already got a million toys in it. Um, a bandana that will go in a different one. Lots of toys. Oh my gosh. like. Why do I have this? I have the worst habit of like keeping his shredded toys and thinking like, well, maybe one day he'll need it. Like, he's never gonna need this. He's just gonna shred it more. So I'm getting rid of it, being better about that. I don't know about you guys, but I love watching these videos to like motivate me to clean up and just like declutter, get rid of the extra stuff I do not need. Okay. Oh, a tennis ball is in here too. And a string of some sort. When he was a puppy, he used to literally just want strings. So we have them everywhere still. And that can be thrown away. All right, so we have our upstairs toy box and our downstairs toy box, and anything that can't fit in these Buddha, we're giving away, okay? Unless it's like an oversized toy. He's taking the tennis ball and running. Okay, so first up we have this little, I don't really remember what this thing is called, um, but you put little treats on it and they have to like eat them off. This is really great. Um, the first few times he played with it, he loved it so much and now he barely uses it. But I'm gonna put it in the downstairs basket as a reminder to myself that he has it and to use it. I'm gonna put this for downstairs also. He got it for Christmas and he hasn't really played with it yet, honestly. But I want to teach him to like pull on it. I think this will be great for getting out energy and he'll have a lot of fun with it. I'm just not really sure how to teach him how to play with it. So if you have a dog that has one of those, um, let me know how you taught them to play with it. Okay, so we have a frog and a little like Coke can, little 
like treat holders and I'm just gonna put one for upstairs and one for downstairs. Um, this little like Nyla bone guy can go, um, let's go upstairs with that guy. And then now we're gonna get into his first ever toys. Ones that he hasn't played with in months. I almost said years, he's not even a year old. But as soon as he sees them, he is gonna try to take them from me, I'm sure. Okay, so I got these all in a pack before I even got him and I was so excited that these were his first toys, but he doesn't really play with them anymore. I will say this size of toy is his favorite. Um, bigger toys he will just shred where these little ones he thinks of like as babies I think so I'm gonna put all of these for downstairs because he will play with them I just haven't had them out um, and then we have little aliens um, that used to go in this spaceship but he has gotten into the spaceship this is what I mean like bigger toys like this he will shred but these little ones he won't so Oh, he found a water bottle behind me. Can you guys see? Oh, lovely. I just have shoes in the background of this video also. Come on, Taylor. There. You guys never saw it. You never saw it. Also, I'm just casual today. We're just chilling in our sweats, so. But yeah, bigger toys like this, shreds, so. This can sadly be thrown away. I need to like start a pile over there. Okay, next up we have this quail guy. He loves this. There's a tennis ball inside of it. I'm gonna keep it upstairs. Um, and then our little alien dudes I'm gonna keep upstairs so that we have some smaller toys up here. Oh, this first ever little grove. I'm gonna go upstairs, as well as this little chewer and the tennis ball. Um, I guess I can go downstairs. That'd be good for like outside. Have a little bone here, and he has more bones downstairs. Um, where's his antler actually? He has an antler somewhere as well. I'm gonna put this one for downstairs. His little cow, he really likes this guy. He can go upstairs. And I'm not doing this based on like best and worst toys. If you guys want to see like best and worst toys out of like all dog products, let me know. I'd love to do a video like that because there are some horrible dog toys out there. I'm just like splitting them up based on like when I think he'll use them. This used to be like inside of a little spiky ball but he pulled it out. Um, this is a Kong, what is it? A Kong, it just says Kong. Usually they say like Kong comfy, but this one is a little different. I think it's like a sea creature collection. We'll go downstairs with that guy. And this is a costume. So that needs to go in the clothing drawer when we get to that. And then these bigger toys, a little like squirrel hut. He ruined every one of the squirrels that were in here. Actually, I think they were chipmunks. Um, they had Santa hats on and he pulled every Santa hat off, which like scalped them. And they just had like stuffing coming out. So he just has the log left and this hot dog that he loves. All right, we have this little like, what do you call this? A dumbbell, like a little weight, weight um, that he used to really love to play with. Um, I'm gonna keep it upstairs. And then we have this guy, which you put new um, little treats on the side there. And they chew them off. I'm gonna keep this upstairs. Batman can go uh, upstairs. And this water bottle, I'm gonna hide from him quick before he tries to steal it back from me. I also have, <laughs> I filled this blanket, it's his blanket, with all the toys in the spare bedroom. 
So we have a Kong Knots, which will go upstairs. And this is his like favorite little baby. So it can go down, see? Yeah, he has favorites. <laughs> the little unicorn will go downstairs. Big fish upstairs. Uh, this little blue guy. Oh, you wanna play with the spaceship? You ruined it. This guy can stay upstairs. Uh, we have this, which you change out. Whoa, whoa. Uh, you change out these little like treat pieces in it. You can tell he has this one almost gone. Um, but yeah, this can. Mm, do you want this downstairs or upstairs? We'll stay upstairs with this one. And then uh, this is like a ball in here. It can stay upstairs. Uh, Kong, little pacifier, go downstairs. And his antler will stay upstairs. Oh, and his little sword can go downstairs. He loves that little sword. And then this is his blankie that uh, goes in the spare bedroom with his <laughs> toys. So that can go over there. I also have these toys that I'm going to put in like this open space down here. The little like game puzzles. This one is open. Oh, there are some treats in here actually. And slide. And then the center one slides as well. There, we go. there are actually a few treats in there, but if you want to get those. And then this one, I just got him for Christmas, but these slide out and then this pushes out. So yeah, I love these little activity boards. He is very entertained by them. I put this little toy um, box back in and can't tell because Buddha's in the way, but the game boards are down here. And now we're gonna move on. So let's go down to this one. And this is mostly like not Buddha related stuff. But we do have this dog refreshing spray for after the bath, like a little deodorant. And then I just have like lights and like camera stuff. Oh, I found a face mask. That's helpful. I am, I can never find my face mask. I don't know about you guys, but at least I'm like crazy. So yeah, this is mostly just like a random stuff of mine and my boyfriend's so I'm gonna go through all this empty it out and then we can use it for his stuff okay so the only things I'm gonna put in here for right now is he has this little like cooling mat that can go in here um I have this little like toy or not toy I can't even think of my words right now food container from uh, the Waggy Tails. And you just put the food in there, lock her up, and then you can hook it onto your bag if you're traveling. So I'm gonna put this in here and I'm gonna keep his refreshing spray in there for now, um, as well as we have his toothbrush and toothpaste. This is the Arm & Hammer brand. Um, his little nail clippers. I really like these ones. They find the quick for you and I cut his nails on my own. So those have been great. I have a little nail grinder in case I cut them sharp, which has happened a few times because I've never cut a dog's nails before I started doing his. So it was a learning process, but we got there. I had a lot of bloody days of like him gouging my skin out because I had cut his nails so freaking sharp, but it's better now. <laughs> and then his acne wipes. Um, yeah. If you guys want to see a video about his like severe dog acne and how we treat it, let me know. Comment down below. We will make a video like that for you guys. So stay tuned for that. Guys, we are on to 
the most full and most exciting slash saddest part of this because you're gonna see my severe addiction to buying my dog dog treats. <laughs> we also just get so many sent to us and we actually have a few partnerships coming up with dog treat brands and I'm like, oh my gosh, what am I gonna do with all these dog treats? Which is why we're doing a giveaway. Woo! Buddha say woo! He's gonna he's gonna be excited. Just give him a second. Ready? Announce it again. Tell them we're doing a giveaway. Woo! <laughs> yes, guys, we are doing a giveaway. I have I think six bags of dog bones that we are giving away. They're smart dog or what are they called? Smart Bones is the brand. Um, and I'll show you guys those at the end and give you all the details for how to enter in the giveaway. So stay tuned that, to the end for that. But as far as these treats go, we have these hemp treats, which we use mostly when uh, traveling. I really do like that brand. I have never tried any other ones, but he seems to do pretty well on them. And then I love this brand. If Charlie Bear ever wants to work with us, please let me know because I love these. These are only three calories per treat. So these are the ones that I just keep in um, these little containers and we're gonna fill up these containers as well. One goes downstairs and then I keep one in here. And yeah, these are the brand that are always in there if you're ever wondering. So let's see how many bags we have. Those ones were the Grain Free Crunch. What is the flavor though? Oh, bacon and blueberry, interesting. <laughs> These ones are chicken, pumpkin, and apple. These are chicken, pumpkin, and apple that are open. This is another reason I need to do this. I open a bag and then like leave them sitting in that room and then go into another room and open another bag. Yeah, here, here's another one that's open. So hopefully this will make it easier or like less wasteful. So we have two that are open, two that are not. These are just the original cheese and egg flavor. Luckily these ones aren't open. that's it for the Charlie Bear ones, but these two are open, so we're going to use these ones to fill up those containers. And then we have freeze-dried beef liver. We have dog-tastic, tastic turkey with apples. Both of these have been opened. This is what I mean, guys. These ones are almost gone. They're Jinx pumpkin and apple recipe. I worked with this brand a few times. I really do like them. Um, these are Healthy Bud Beef Lungs, not opened. Finally have one not open. Got another open one, Dogtastic Liver Training Bites. Um, we have some greenies. I don't know where my other greenies are. I have like three bags of these, so I need to look for those. We have chicken feet, oh my gosh. We have these superfood nuggets. Um, these treats fit perfectly into his treat ball. Oh, that's something that I didn't have in here. I wonder where that is. But yeah, he has a treat ball and for some reason these treats fit perfectly in it. So I'm gonna set these aside to put near wherever I keep his uh, training or his treat ball. We have this little happy birthday cookie from uh, Pup Mom Crate. They send one of these every month in like their influencer box. Um, but if you subscribe to their subscription boxes, you will get one of these on your dog's birth month. So yeah. We have these wafer cookies, not opened. These wellness soft bites. I love these. These were like the first treats we ever used for him when he was so tiny. And I found them for how much? $5 at TJ Maxx. 
So I had bought a few of those. Um, we have Jinx chicken and mango recipe. Funny story, guys, about these Jinx ones. When I first got them, I don't know why, but I was just looking at them thinking, all natural dog biscuits. Like, wow, they're just using pumpkin and apple. Like, this one is chicken and mango. Like, I bet they're delicious. And my dumb self really ate them. They were so gross. Like, I don't think they'll ever, if, I don't know if Jinx is ever going to hear this, but they won't be offended because they're not meant for human consumption. Like, I, they're not meant for me to think they taste good. They were gross. Don't eat your dog's treats. Just, yeah, learn from my mistakes. And then, ooh, yeah, guys, I forgot that I had these. I have three packs of Zook's um, puppy treats. And for some reason, I don't know where the other ones are that are already open, but I opened these and gave them to him when I first got him and he hated them. And I had ordered so many. They're lamb and chickpea recipe. They have, they're like all natural. They have vitamins and minerals. Super good for your dog. Um, so yeah, maybe we'll do another giveaway sometime for like people that are about to get a puppy or just got a puppy or something like that. So if you'd be interested in that, let me know. And I think this is the last one, but these are Nandy um, freeze-dried ostrich meat. Interesting. And then the only other things we really have in here are um, like the refills to the toys I showed you guys earlier. Um, another refill and then these are like the little rings so yeah we have all those and then this is just like paw butter which i will put in here for now but i think i'm gonna make this basket like a medical basket so yeah oh my gosh buddha i need you to not take all these treats right now Okay, I'm gonna see how well we can get this in to these baskets, and then I'll be right back. I got them pretty well organized in here. There's just like so much. I think you guys can kind of see. But yeah, I don't think he needs any more treats anytime soon, so we'll be doing giveaways for treats for a while now. So make sure to follow us on all of our social medias so you stay tuned on when we're doing giveaways. And I also left um, a couple bags out for filling these. So we'll do that at the end. But in here we have some costumes and... Bananas, all that kind of stuff. All right, so I have this dog bowl, which I guess I'll keep in here for traveling. And then these harnesses, I don't know what to do with them. Uh, this one has what was supposed to be our... Um, address on it and then we ended up moving somewhere different but I guess I could still put this on his harness he's only wearing this black one right now because we were um in the car earlier and he was in his seatbelt and it's really easy to like catch him so it's easy to do videos in case I need to like grab him real quick because he's taking something and running away or yeah it's just easier to grab him he doesn't typically wear anything in the house and I know that this harness is not his size anymore. He's gigantic. And I remember getting this harness and thinking like, oh my gosh, I never thought he would need this big of a harness. Yeah, no, he's like double the size now. But uh, this is like the leash that we had used for it. And spoiler alert, looking into getting him a sibling in the next like year or so so like not like this second but you know within the year 
So I do want to keep um, some puppy stuff just so I don't have to buy all new. And we have these little doggy socks that are way too small for him now. But again, we have more coming. So I'm going to keep his socks in there. And I have a few bows, this blue velvet one and this denim one. And we have this orange bandana. He's literally running from me when he saw the bandana because he's like, no, don't put it on me. <laughs> As you can tell, not going to fit him, but when I got them for him around Halloween time, they fit him really cute. So maybe one of his siblings will be this size around the same time. And then, oh my gosh, I never even got to use this with him because the pandemic just like never let up and we never really got to go anywhere. But you just put your puppy in here and my plan was to go to class with him in it. But yeah, it didn't, didn't happen. So this is literally unused. But maybe the next one will get some use out of it. Um, and then we have this little mutant ninja turtle costume, which he just likes to play with, honestly. It had swords on the back that have become his, like, favorite toys. Actually, I think he ruined one. But the other one he really loves and plays with all the time. And it doesn't fit him, and it didn't fit him during Halloween time. It was sent to me, but he had already outgrown it. And, yeah, I don't know. Maybe a sibling will be able to wear it sometime. And if not, then um, during Halloween next year we can give it away to somebody. Um, we have another bandana. We got some candy corn on one side and our Black Lives Matter on the other side. And we put that in here. I have another bow. This was a tie-dye bow that somebody custom made and sent for us, which was so sweet. And then I have this collar that is denim. Um, is this company called oh crap I can't remember off the top of my head but um they sent it to us when we first got him so sweet of them um this was his Halloween costume last year and he was just a little shark just so cute and yeah I don't know when we'll ever use it again but maybe for a shark related video or something and then this is, I think this was my mom's dog's um, harness. It's just reflective, good for at night. I don't think this would really fit him now, uh, but my mom's dog does come to visit. So I'll keep that for him. And then this is another custom piece that was sent to us around Halloween time. So sweet of them. And then I have these pet owner matching socks, um, which were the same ones that I just folded up, but I never even opened these ones because after I opened the first one, I realized they were way too small on his giant feet. Yeah, so actually we have a ton of space in this one left over. Um, and we are doing a shopping spree pretty soon with him because he's really outgrowing his clothes. He has a, like, section in our closet over there. And, yeah, like, hardly any of his clothes fit him anymore. The ones that do, like, are broken, like, buttons are popped off, just, like, a hot mess. So, yeah, we're gonna do a shopping video pretty soon, so stay tuned for that. All right, I brought you guys in a little bit closer. Buddha is over there doing his own thing and I couldn't get him to stay in the frame. So we're just gonna let him do his own thing. We have these four cleaned out, organized, and now we're gonna hit these two baskets. Um, we just have like a couple candles right here, which is fine. And then we're gonna fill up these treats and take this gray one downstairs. So in here, guys oh you want to come back huh okay hello 
in here, this is where I keep literally all of his paperwork. As soon as we leave the vet, even sometimes when I go to the vet, I take this. When we travel, I take this. Like, anytime anything medical could be involved with him, like, this folder goes with us. And it literally just has, I don't want to, like, flash any of my information at you guys, but it's just all of his paperwork that he's ever got at any vet, um, all the paperwork I got from his breeder, his AKC paperwork, um, his like microchip information, codes, all of that is in here. Oh, he just turned the Xbox on. <laughs> uh, yeah, like literally all of his shots, all of his paperwork, um, to fly on planes, like literally it's all in here. So I highly recommend doing this. Um, this is a folder that I got from his breeder. We don't go to this clinic. It was just um, the clinic that he like was born at. So they gave me like his initial paperwork in here and I've just always kept it on me. And then this one, is my like AKC registration, all of that, that I've just always kept, just in case, I guess, I don't know. And then what else do we have in here? I have his insurance um, paperwork, which I guess could go in this folder. I'm just gonna put it in one of the folders for now. And then I have ear wipes in here, and this is just trash that needs to be thrown away. Uh, these were like his first ever little nail clippers, and, and I lost these when we moved and couldn't find them anywhere, so we got like the nicer ones that we have now, but I eventually found them. Um, these are the smart bones that we are doing a giveaway with, um, but this is just like a pack that I had must have thrown together to take somewhere with just like some little treats in there and bones. And then I have um, a box of essential oils in here. The ones up top are ones that are safe for him and like the ones down low I know are ones that are not safe for him. So I just like organized them that way. And when he was super little, we would use these like most days, honestly. Uh, if you want to see a video about essential oils and like ways that they benefit your dog, let me know. And then I just have like two more packs of wipes in here. But yeah, that's it for in here. I don't even know what this thing is. Um, but in here, I just like to keep all of his medical paperwork, some wipes, and then I'm going to take out some of like his medical stuff his acne meds and his uh, paw cream, his nail clippers, and his toothbrush as well. I'm all gonna keep in here so that it's just easy to grab. You guys see? Super easy, super organized now. And much easier to use. All right, this basket I'm a little nervous for. I know that there's a lot of random stuff in here. Buddha, he's stealing out of the basket that I just organized for him to go downstairs. <gasps> oh, I can't put these on my head, but these are his little um, antlers from Christmas. So I'll put those in the clothing basket. And then most of this is honestly my stuff. Like literally all of it. So there's a literally a roll of toilet paper in here. Yeah, this is literally all my stuff. So I'm gonna clean all this out. And then this basket can be used in our spare bedroom for his toys in there.
We got our treat baskets, our buckets filled. Oh, hey, you can't just eat out of it like that. Now you're cut off. <laughs> Can you get your booty out of the camera? Nobody wants to see that. Oh my gosh. You guys, you okay? Oh my gosh, he literally just coughed up his whole tree. It's like that big. Anybody else have a dog that chokes on everything? Because I can't give him bone. Oh my gosh, Buddha. TMI. I can't give him anything without him choking on it. Like, literally. All right, guys. Look at how many bags we have of bones to give away. It's insane. So, what we're going to do is three winners at a time, which means one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four times you're going to be able to enter into this giveaway and possibly win a bag of treats. So, the difference that we have here is these ones are sweet potato, these ones are chips they're not they're like a little bit thinner than the bones you can see the difference there and then we have peanut butter ones as well and oh my gosh we have so freaking many so what you're gonna have to do to win one of these our deadline is going to be valentine's day february 14th we are going to announce the winner all you have to do is go follow us over on Instagram at French Buddha and at Taylor and Buddha and uh, comment on our post that we're going to have on French Buddha's account with these treats. Um, you'll see them in the picture. It'll be one of the most recent photos. Go comment on it and we will make sure that you're following. So this is going to be an Instagram one but the next one we do is going to be YouTube. So make sure to subscribe here also so that it's just out of the way. And yeah, we're going to be double checking. So make sure to follow us on both Instagram accounts. Um, you get an extra inch entry if you follow us on our YouTube channel and you get another extra entry if you um post the picture onto your story um but all of that will okay buddha that is an empty bag um all of those things will be in the description box here as well as on the post um over on french buddha on instagram so make sure buddha come here and and tell them make sure to follow us there and comment so that we can send you guys some of these treats because we just have way too many huh bud he wants to share he has too many <laughs> but yeah that's all we have for you guys in this video make sure to subscribe and follow us on our other social medias thank you so much for watching guys and we will see you in the next video goodbye